Hello everyone, welcome back and today we're going to be looking at all of the steps necessary to create a character animation scene from start to finish. So first of all, I guess I'll introduce the scene that we're going to be looking at today. It's based off the story before my short film called Wild Fur. So Wild Fur is already out and you can check it out on my channel if you want to. The scene in particular is about four characters. They're working on a big vehicle in Siberia. It's like a road building vehicle. It's huge in the in the animation. And they're on the balcony of this machine and they're shooting at wildlife in the forest, kind of hunting from the balcony, if you like. So they're watching him uh, shoot at this uh, snow leopard and he gets a bullseye on the snow leopard and uh, they all react in different ways. So it's quite an interesting scene to animate because I wanted to give each of these characters some personality, which was quite fun. So anyway, I'll get into the stages real quick while this plays so you can see the processes and how they turned out. Number one, you need to, if, so you need to make your storyboard into a symbol and then you need to decide the length of time that the shot will run on for. Now you can alter the amount of time that it runs on for later, but it's nice to kind of extend them out a little bit to get an idea of that. Now it goes on to actually creating the animation itself. So the third one is you need to separate your characters and objects onto different layers. You can do this with a lasso tool and cut and paste. That's mostly what I do. So you separate out the character that you want to be animating exclusively and you put that character on a different layer. The same goes with the background. You need to separate out the background and put them on the layers behind. And this way you can treat each of the characters individually give them their own keyframes, their own timing and spacing and so on. So that's like a really important part of it, I guess. And then I also just quickly added in some effects animation, but you can add that in at any stage in the process. It doesn't really matter. In this scene, the characters are in a very cold environment, so you can see their breath. So in this stage, I animated like the vapor that they would be exhaling. And that was really fun. I uh, used a tweening method for that and it actually turned out pretty well. So the next step is to clean up your objects once they're on their different layers. You can add detail, adjust their proportions, adjust where they're positioned in the shot and stuff like that. And make sure that your layers overlap. So if you have a background, you need to be adding color and detail even to where the character is standing in front of that background. And that gives the character some freedom to move around and the background will still be drawn and painted where he was standing. You see what I mean? So after that, of course, the really exciting part is to draw your character's key poses. So not all of them are moving all of the time. So the guy stood on the left is pretty much just standing there still. And I think that was appropriate because with some poses, you don't need to have them moving all the time. In fact, a lack of movement can communicate some body language even better. But in other cases, like with this guy who's taking up most of the attention in the scene, he is a very enthusiastic character. So he's kind of, uh, you know, he does a little fist pump, he's clapping, he's looking around the place. So that requires a lot more keyframes. A quick tip for characters who are doing the most moving around it is generally a good idea to give them the simplest designs with the least amount of detail and that will make for a very time efficient character that doesn't take too much time to draw the key poses because the more detail you add to your characters the more you have to draw on every key pose so i kept this guy fairly simple he had a hoodie on but apart from that there wasn't any major detail so what else right then Number seven is the in-betweens. So you need to, well, you don't need to, but it can be nice to make your character animation look smooth in places where it should be. And if you're running out of time, though, you can skip this phase because the key poses should be doing most of the work for you. So if you are running out of time, the key poses are kind of a low priority thing where you don't necessarily need them because... Like I said before, you can communicate quite a lot with just still poses and the body language. So anyway, they're pretty easy as well. So then number eight is colouring. So 
you have your color palette ready so that you can if you have a color palette that's great you can just drag it in if not you're going to need to create a color palette for your characters so generally I like to create the colors for my characters before I start animating them and I generally do that by researching using images and uh, you know National Geographic magazines are really good for that but also just google images and stock photos look around for what kind of colors they would wear so for me I researched Russian and Polish military and uh, is particularly I think it was Russian military most of all and I wanted like the cutting edge new kind of look for their winter uniform so it's roughly based off that I guess some of the things so you might need to close some gaps in character animation as you go along it can be very tedious but unfortunately there's not many ways around it so setting the brush to the paint behind mode is very useful for this stage as you can easily fill in the gaps that you missed so you'll see me use the paint behind mode a lot especially in the coloring stage and then point number nine is finishing and adding detail in the background and coloring in the background as well so i left the background till last because generally the line work of the background can sometimes interfere with what you're drawing in the character animation stage so you might not want to draw in all the detail before you've done the character animation but it really depends on what the scene is and stuff so the point not covered in this time lapse is compositing and color correction this is usually done in another program like after effects on premiere but nowadays i like to mess around with the colors the different levels the contrast exposure and stuff like that maybe apply filters and stuff like that. It's quite nice to do that. And also I added snow in After Effects, I believe. But you won't see that on this video because I did that much later on. And I might have moved the camera around a little bit. I can't remember. So I think those are all of the points that I wanted to cover for this episode. And uh, if you follow all those steps, you should have a working character animation scene after a while. Some other scenes require a different approach to this, but it's a solid method for character animation. It's definitely worked for me, and once you follow these tips, it kind of becomes like a formula of sorts. So please leave a comment for what video you'd like to see me make next, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and check out my website in the description to watch more in-depth tutorials and download the source files for this animation if you want. Now you can learn a lot from source files by looking through the frames and seeing the location of where I've used graphic symbols and stuff like that. Um, how I did the vapor trails might be quite interesting to some of you. So that's available for free on my website. You can go over there and download it by subscribing to my mailing list, which is a, a newsletter of sorts where I give you updates every few So I think that's all I wanted to cover. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Because I was making the scene and I was thinking about all of the things that are achievable in storytelling with just lighting alone and how much of a powerful tool it can be. So for example, if you had light hitting a face from lower down, you can make the character look like they had